talking. Do do do. About to get the buggy. And I just I feel some go pop on my head, right? So y'all are used to it. So I'm like, wait a minute, like you know, somebody just hit me in my head. So JJ like, yo, who just hit you? So JJ turn around. JJ still. Who just hit you? Who just hit you? What's up? Like, what's good? I'm like, bro, somebody just hit me. Somebody just hit me. Nobody's around. <laughs> What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Soleil, and I am back with another video. I'm saying hello. Uh, hi to all my new subscribers. Thank y'all so much for coming. Um, today, I'll be going over a story time of when I first, the first time I got flewed out. I already did a story time of my worst experience, but I did not do a story time of my first experience. So if you would like to see this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so don't mind my refrigerator in the back. I think it's generating or something. I don't know what's going on back there, but okay. So if you know me, well, to all my old subscribers, y'all know I posted my worst experience getting flued out. First off, let me address some comments on that video. One, y'all, I was young. I was full living life. I was just having fun. Two, um, I wouldn't say I didn't know that I didn't know the dude from a can of paint. I did kind of know the dude. We were talking, conversing here, and you know. Ever so often when we're talking, we're getting to know each other, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, but again, we lived in two different states. I felt like we weren't going to get to know each other that much over the phone. And I wanted to see him in person. So that's what we may happen, whatever. Um, another comment. Yeah, you know, it was an experience. I learned from it. So anyways, we're going to get into this story time when I first got flewed out. So... If y'all looked at my video two videos ago, it was a story time when my ex like saved my life or whatever. Um, that was my first time being flewed out, right? So I didn't give y'all all the details because y'all, it was the funniest trip ever. For starters, y'all already know the back history of that if y'all went and viewed that video. If y'all didn't go view that video, again, it's gonna be in the bio. Go click that and view that so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. But so y'all should already know my ex. So anyways, we're gonna call my ex JJ. <laughs> we're gonna call my ex JJ. So JJ, you know, uh, we were on the phone one day and JJ's like, my best friend, uh, we're gonna call him bro. So bro was like, man, I wanna go to Miami, yada, 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 cool. And so JJ was like, and this is maybe, y'all, I'm talking about this is maybe, we met in January, January, February, March. This was for a spring break. <laughs> This is for a spring break. So I got flewed out for my first time two months after knowing that person. I know, crazy, whatever, move forward. So um, at that time, I was probably like, I wasn't 21. I had to be like 20, I think. Um, but I wasn't 21, maybe 19, 20. Anyway, so fast forward. Um, JJ's like, you want to go to Miami? And I'm like, yeah, I want to go to Miami. What the heck? Like, who don't want to go to Miami? But I don't have the money to go to Miami, which I didn't. I was a college student. I was working at bombshells. You know, all they say all the baddies come from bombshells. But anyways, I was working at bombshells. I didn't have the money to afford to go to Miami. Like, no, I got to work. I got to pay my, um, housing fee or whatever. And so, I mean, I can't go. And so, uh, JJ was like, okay, cool. Like, you know, I understand. So, the next day, JJ like, hey, I want you to go to Miami. We're going to go to Miami, take off. I'm going to pay for your days off. I'm going to pay for whatever needs to be paid for. Just take off. Like, which you get, the only thing you got to figure out is your hair and your clothes. That's it. So, I'm like, say less. Like, I'm going to Miami. Like, I'm happy, y'all, to go to Miami. I'm excited. I get all packed up. Ooh, whatever. So we get take that flight to Miami. First time being flewed out, so excited. So we get to Miami and we were staying at this hotel right there on um, Ocean Drive. It was called like the Dolphin, it was like a Dolphin Hotel. I don't remember the exact name of it, but it was like a blue and white hotel right there on Ocean Drive. So we sitting down, we waited, we waited, and we waited. <laughs> oh my God, I got so many funny stories, it's about to be so funny. We waited for our stuff to get, you know, a room to get figured out. And so JJ ended up renting out a car, whatever, because, you know, we, I like to move around comfortably. And even when I was younger, I still like to move around comfortably, comfortably. And so that just ensured that we were on like our own time and things, right? So fast forward, right? We get in a room, whatever. And we were going to be there for, I want to say like roughly three to four days, maybe four days. 
but it seemed like every day something was happening to me okay because this is not this is about to be crazy so we ended up going on the beach for a little bit or whatever and um then we ended up going to like this restaurant to have something to eat and so y'all the restaurant was right next to like a hotel y'all probably know the restaurant because they tried to get us so i'm just gonna tell you the story so anyways we get to the restaurant and me and jj order like this margarita they they, they like talked us into ordering this margarita margarita like originally like thirty dollars right the margarita is originally like thirty dollars so they're like oh well if you order the lobster like you can get the uh they said if you order the lobster you can get the drink for free and you could just pay for the lobster so we're like well that sounds like a deal girl the tab comes tab like a thousand dollars we're looking at the tab like so jj's drunk okay so i'm not drunk even though they allowed me to drink didn't check no id whatever didn't check no id i'm drinking or whatever i look at the tab i'm like i'm not drunk so i'm looking at the tab all kind of crazy like because i know this tab shouldn't be this high so when i looked at the tab i realized they put them uh they put the drinks on the tab they like added more stuff to the tab and this was the first time of me ever seeing service charge now y'all from texas i stay in texas live in texas from texas at this point i was only in texas in louisiana because my whole family from louisiana but that's neither here nor there anyway this is where i this is where I, I am this is where i am so i've never seen no nothing on no tab that say no service charge because in houston i mean if unless y'all know some places that i don't and i'm about a girl i don't know no places that says service charge so i'm like service charge girl service charge busting for like a honey right so i'm like yo they wildin fast forward y'all fast forward um end up telling the waitress i'm like hey look like no take this off this was told from us to the beginning yada 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 so everything got fixed up and the tab was paid cool went back to the room right we're old people we literally go into the room and we lay down like you know we shower or whatever we lay down and i'm talking about outside people are busting like people are screaming people i would never go to miami ever again <laughs> during spring break Anyway, so people was like loud, people was going crazy, and we are right here on Ocean Drive, so it's right outside the window. Like, what? Like, I don't know. I, I'm an old lady at heart, so I just was like, mm, right. Anyways, me and JJ, we both was looking out the window, like, you know what's going on. Like, ugh. anyways, so get ready for bed whatever and we had a really like intimate moment i'm not gonna tell y'all about that moment because i feel like that's just something that um not sexing at them but we had an intimate moment as far as like talking and we got like deep in conversation deep into each other like just really got so deep i've never been as deep with somebody before anyway so fast forward next day this is where it's about to get funny so the next day jj wake up jj like let's go and you know have some fun and so something happened where like i hit something and started bleeding so jj's like you want to go get a buggy you want to go get a buggy because the first time when i got out there i'm like everybody's driving their buggies i want a buggy like you know the little cars so i have a picture of me, the buggy in me so i'm gonna put it somewhere on here um anyways i'm like jj i want to get a buggy like yes i want a buggy so we went and got the buggy y'all right <laughs> this is gonna be so funny i need y'all to know this whole entire story so on the way to walk to go get the buggy because again we're on ocean drive to get the buggies it's like maybe a street from ocean drive right so we're walking and the madness starts out of nowhere this guy he walks up to us he's like hey you know you want some you want some of that za you know you want some of that zaza me and jj like nah we don't want none of that like we good we good he's like you show sure i got i got anything i need i ain't got that white like i ain't got that white girl i got that you know that booger sugar we looking like no i'm gonna walk this way so the dude is like okay 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 so he walks away cool nothing out of the norm whatever moves forward we're walking right still want to get to buggy I'm happy, do, do, do. happy, happy, happy. I have on a straight wig, y'all. This is about to blow y'all socks off y'all feet. Cause I told my friend this story the other day and she was like, please put that on your YouTube. It's so funny. So we, I'm walking, do, 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 about to get the buggy. And I just, I feel something go pop on my head, right? So y'all are used to it. So I'm like, wait a minute. Like, you know, somebody just hit me in my head. So JJ like, yo, who just hit you? So JJ turn around, JJ still. 
who just hit you? Who just hit you? What's up? Like, what's good? I'm like, bro, somebody just hit me. Somebody just hit me. Nobody's around. <laughs> no, <laughs> nobody's around, right? I'm about to cry telling the story because it's so funny. And this is like one of the funniest stories there. Like, we had like three. Nobody's around, right? Jada looking like, ain't nobody around. Somebody must have threw something at you. So I'm looking like, oh my God, it hurt. Like, they hit the heck out of me. Like, they threw it. Like, they had the bench in the soul. Like, it, it hurt. So Jada's like, you show sure? Like, I don't see nobody. Like, it was nobody. It was, Jada like, you sure is nobody around us. I'm looking. I'm like, somebody threw something at me. I'm not kidding. Like, I'm for real. Like, this is 911. This is not a joke. So JJ like, well, let me see. Let me see if someone, like, let me see. Let me see. Y'all. <laughs> JJ was like, I don't see nothing. Y'all, I turned my head. And JJ literally fell on the floor laughing, was crying laughing. So I don't know what's going on. I'm like, yo, like you laughing at me? Whatever. Y'all come to find out a day gone single with this shit on my head. A single shit it on my head. And so I literally thought, <laughs> that is deadly. That's some deadly shit. Bro, literally, I thought somebody hit me in my head. That shit hit my head so hard. And I had on a wig. It wasn't like it just hit a straight scalp. It had to penetrate. My, like, it literally had to get on me for me to feel it. So JJ is literally like screaming, crying, laughing. Because now I got dookie on my head. And remind y'all. This is in, this is like two months, three months after talking to JJ. We still a little fresh. Like, this is embarrassing for me. So I'm like, yo, like, I'm crying. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm so embarrassed. I'm crying. JJ's literally like, okay, calm down. Calm down. It's okay. But I know deep down JJ's like, bro, this is the funniest stuff I've ever seen in my life. So, y'all, I hurry up, ran into the restroom of this place that was nearby. Tap, <laughs> whole wig girl yes indeed took off the whole wig cleaning the bird dookie out my head y'all and it was so hard to clean i was so disgusted because that's just so disgusting so i was just like oh like no like why would a seagull poop on me so jayden like maybe it's a lucky maybe it's a lucky day whatever cool fine so after all that said and done mind y'all i didn't go back to the hotel room and actually glue the wig down all day i have to be like real you know what's the word i have to be like real um chill with what i was doing for the rest of the day because that wig was not glued on so anyways fast forward fast forward fast forward um we ended up leaving that place and going to go get the buggy because of course i still want the buggy when you're like like listen i'm embarrassed trust me that was the most embarrassing thing of my life but at the end of the day what what can i do i am just a girl <laughs> like i just came here for the fun like what is going on so fast forward right we go get the buggy i'm in a buggy i'm driving and i think i have a video on that i'm driving in the buggy i'm going i'm whipping i'm working in a buggy we listening to all the houston jams i'm i'm houston i'm slow loud and banging all in my trunk i am so houston so literally, we in a we in a buggy. We listening to Houston, whatever. This man is recording me, right? He's like recording the buggy, recording me. I'm, you know, vibing, vibing. And yo, he was recording me, and this was so funny to JJ, cause she was like, "Oh, look, you know, he's recording him." I look, I said, <laughs> "Bro, he said." can't make this up again jj is falling out laughing because i'm like yo 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 right and the dude like bro he literally stopped recording he was mad y'all and walked off sir go get your own buggy if you want to record like don't get mad that i put up my my city because you want to record me like girl what bye so anyways Fast forward, we only got the buggy for like maybe a couple hours. We didn't have it for too long. Um, we ended up stopping and going to this restaurant again, ate, whatever. Everything was fine and dandy. So we went back to the hotel room. Again, we're old people. 
it's the second day out here. I mean, the second night out here. We're in a hotel room. At this point, I think the TV in Miami, uh, one channel had John Wayne Gazy playing on there the whole trip. So, baby, I rewatched John Wayne Gazy like 30 times. I tell you, I even woke up out of my sleep. I'm looking at John Wayne Gacy. I know the whole, I know the words to that show. I know everything about John Wayne Gacy because of that show. And trust me, he's not an interesting guy. Creep. Very creepy, very disturbing, very disgusting man. But very, he's not interesting at all. Like, he's not something I want to wake up and see third times in a day. So, anyways, we're in the bed, whatever. <clears throat> Again, they rocking, they socking outside. We old people, we in the bed and we fall asleep, whatever. Third day. This was like one of our like last days being there. We encountered what well, we encountered. So this is what I told the story on on my um the story time of when I fell in love with JJ. But anyway, so we're gonna talk about that too on here, even though if y'all didn't go watch that video, y'all cheating. You know, a little bit like I feel like y'all cheating. A little bit so i'm not gonna say like the exact details but anyways i might i might not be that type of person today so <sighs> it's our third day out here and we're like okay well it's time for us to go do some water sports you know um it's early in the day let's go eat some breakfast downstairs let's do some water sports so for y'all that don't know i went to school to be go become a vet so by default i just like animals right Birds, all of them, dogs, cats, ferrets, turtles, spiders, fish, whatever, whatever you can think of. Imagine cows, horses, pigs, piglets, like anything you can possibly think of. I like, right? I by default. I genuinely do. Don't know why. I'll probably put a little picture of a piglet that we have on the farm right now. My great grandparents have a piggly on the farm right now and i just was in love with it but anyway so continue hopefully i put that picture up there um we're out there and i'm like okay well we can go eat breakfast so while we eating breakfast i don't know why but the seagulls i mean the birds out in miami they are real friendly i mean they walking up to you them things might as well lick on your feet how close they are so i'm like you know what let me give them a little bit of break right so i feed the little seagull you know the little birds these are not the seagulls the birds. I should learn my I should learn my lesson with that seagull the first time. So the birds fed them some bread. Cool. They fine. They went about their day. And so my um JJ is like, hey, let's go do some water sports. Get up, let's go do some water sports. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Get up to go do some water sports. Bring the bread. I'm not gonna eat the bread. Well, I throw the bread away. Somebody's gonna eat that bread. The seagull's gonna eat that bread. So y'all, which I think I have this video. If not, I'm sorry, but this is about to be funny again. So we go to the beach to go do the water sports. And of course, I want us to feed the birds. JJ thought it was a bad idea for me to bring the bread to feed the birds. But I didn't listen to JJ. Like, JJ, whatever. I'm feeding the birds. Cool. So I go to the beach <clears throat> with the bread. And it's like one or two seagulls. So I'm like, let me get a piece of bread. Tell the bread, give it to the seagull. <clears throat> it eats it. And out of nowhere, here come 10 seagulls. Okay, give them some pieces of bread. Cool. And I didn't realize, actually scoped the scenery out to realize how many seagulls was in our proximity. Y'all, when I told y'all it was about a hundred birds came after me with that bread, y'all, I was running my life and JJ was crying laughing recording me the seagulls was coming in on me like that so I'm running I'm running and JJ like drop the bread I got the bread in my hand JJ like drop the bread they want the bread drop the bread I throw the bread up while I'm running because yeah, I'm still a medic I just got out of high school I mean I'm first year college I just got out of high school I'm still a medic I'm running. I'm running for my life. What do you mean? So literally, y'all, throw the bread up. Seagulls attacks the bread, and I'm running. Gone. Call me. Usain Bolt. Call me for his gum. I don't know. I was gone, and I'm talking about full speed, 
flip flops flew off my feet. I'm running from my life. I had to save my life. Like, I don't care. And that day, I ensured we did not do any water sports. I don't think, I don't, I don't think that day we did any water sports. Now, mind y'all, this is like years ago, maybe like four years ago, uh, five years ago. I don't remember doing any water sports that day after that incident. Okay. But so after that, I just remember what happened that night. So, anyways, we went to the hotel. Um, I want to say we probably chilled for a little bit or we ended up washing up after being on the beach, um, put some fresh clothes on, whatever, and hopped on out to get the night started. Because again, it's Miami. We're not waking up at eight o'clock in the morning. We probably woke up that morning around like 10, 11, ate some breakfast, one, two, got on the beach, had this whole fiasco, got back to the room around four or five and then got dressed to go eat like around eight. So that, that was around the time frame. Went to this went to this place called um what is this place? What was that? I keep forgetting the name, but I said it on the last video. We went to a restaurant called Sugar Factory. <clears throat> love Sugar Factory. I love Sugar Factory. I specifically love Miami Sugar Factory because of the ambiance. I went to Atlanta Sugar Factory. Don't recommend two out of ten. It's real, it gets real in there. Like you don't know if you want to partay. Or scope the scenery out. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't know if you are in there to like eat and have a good time, or you need to watch it back. Like you know what I mean? So yeah, Miami is where I like Sugar Factory. So the first night we went, no, I want to say either the second night we went, we actually ate there, and then the third night we ended up eating there again because we both enjoyed the menu at Sugar Factory and the drinks. Mind y'all, I'm you know I'm like 19, 20, so the drinks are busting. <laughs> You know, they give you this big round bowl to drink and then you got to whatever. So we get sat outside. It was busting this day. I want to say maybe it could have possibly been like a Thursday. Um, oh, you know what? It was like we did. We stayed like four or five days because we stayed through the weekend. So that day could have been like a Friday when everybody was like outside. But they left Saturday because, yeah, they, they didn't want to stay. But anyways, or it might have been Saturday and they left Sunday. Cool. We're going to say Saturday. So anyway, Saturday. And we're sitting outside at Sugar Factory. Out of nowhere, you hear guns bop, 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 busting in the, in the bando. And like me, again, I already told the story, but I'm telling again. <clears throat> like me, I like to get up. If I hear guns, anyone that I thought, if they heard a gun, they're going to get up and they're going to run. <laughs> we're about to find a hiding spot. Like, we have to go. It's too many crazies out here. That why you like we're no we're about to run. So JJ literally leans over me, grabs me, and covers my body. People are literally trampling over JJ, trampling over the tables, jumping over things, running, gone. Like I'm talking about going crazy, and I'm like it happened so fast. Got up from the whole scenario, right? And immediately, cause you know I'm super girly. Again, I get freaked out fast. I'm on the ground. My biggest, scariest moments of my life is to be on that ground or in a public restroom. That's my biggest fears. One of them just occurred. So I'm literally on the ground, crying like I'm on the ground, and it's tissue in my hair. So I'm freaking out. And then I realized, okay, yeah, I'm crying because it's a straw tissue in my hair. Just pluck it out. But I'm also sad. I'm also like, yo. JJ just risked their life for me. Like, literally risked your life for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could have... Anything could have happened to JJ, right? So, at that moment, again, I fell in love with JJ. And that's in my other story time. So, if y'all want an in detail of what happened, y'all can go through that story time. Anyway, so, that happened. After that, um, I want to say our the rest of our night was just like, hey, let's close out. I... I want to say everyone that was outside meal was free or comped or something because of the incident. But, oh, no, no, They ended up finding an indoor seating for us. So they sat us indoors and we finished having like a good rest of our day. We were a little shook up and things like that. But JJ, whole thing was they wanted to ensure that, you know, I was safe and I make it home um, because JJ invited me out to that 
you know, to that trip to Miami. So honestly, I know a lot of people that again has told me like, girl, if it was me and my girl, she would have had to put them running shoes on because you about to run. Or like, I'm not covering up nobody, da, da, da. So I think that was a very crazy thing that JJ did, but it was so sweet and it was just genuine. And that's the moment I fell in love with JJ. But continue, <clears throat> moving forward, okay? Um, We finish eating at this location. We go back to the hotel. Again, John Wayne Gacy is going crazy on the TV. At this point, you turn to another channel, John Wayne Gacy popping there. I don't know where John Wayne Gacy from, but at this point, is he from Florida? Because, baby, y'all were playing John Wayne Gacy all day. Like, maybe it was a season, a series premiere, season premiere or something. Maybe it came out that weekend. I don't know. But y'all was playing the heck out of John Wayne Gacy. Like, I know too much information about the man. And I don't... Yeah, whatever. So, anyways, moving forward. <clears throat> At this point now, it's like Sunday out there. Everyone's honestly gone thank god no more bumping and jumping outside no more shooting in the street no more i think even a seagull's left with the crowd like no more taking the poop on heads like whatever so at that time bro was still out there so i'm like you know what this is a great time for jj to meet bro and we end up having like a little lunch or whatever <clears throat> it was me jj bro and his girlfriend and so we just sat down. We had an amazing lunch, dinner, whatever. We had an amazing time. Bro absolutely loved JJ. And it was just an amazing experience. And so bro like, look, y'all, you know, it's our first, it's going to be our last night out here. Ain't nobody out here. What the case may be, like, let's go and let's have some good, like, let's go party tonight. And so I'm like, yeah, that sounds fun. Like, whatever. So we ended up uh, going to this club, right? Um in Miami and again it's like a Sunday night so it's not crazy nothing had a great time end up leaving and just uh you know going to sleep for the night whatever <clears throat> wake up the next morning and we ended up flying out so yeah I want to say we flew out that Tuesday but anyway so or that Monday one of those days but anyway so that's the story time of the first time I got flewed out um, it's a very, I like, I like that I told y'all the story because I feel like it's a very positive story. <clears throat> it isn't a what the hell kind of story. Like, this is just some negativity or some drama or just craziness. I mean, the bird shooting on my head was crazy. I mean, that in itself was wild. So, that's probably the wildest. Uh, that in a shooting, that was pretty wild. But honestly... I didn't, I, you know, I enjoyed the experience. That relationship lasted some years <clears throat> and it was well worth it. Again, you know, I always shout out JJ. JJ was a great person. I hope JJ is having a good life and found someone that they love or whatever the case may be. But yeah, so that's the story of my first time getting flued out. My best time getting flued out. And yeah, so thank y'all so much for viewing this channel again like comment and subscribe the subscribe button is probably either right here or right here but i'm pretty sure it's right here whichever one you see like a white square box go ahead and click that so y'all can subscribe to my new subscribers thank y'all so much for subscribing i'm gonna see y'all next time to my old subscribers thank y'all for viewing my channels y'all are so loved and appreciated without further ado i'll talk to y'all next time